Fastnet de Watering. Welcome to Electric Felix on a Tuesday morning with the fastest fast charger in Europe that I think is publicly available. Mm. Yeah. Can you still hear me? This is one noisy machine. It is just charging one Tesla right now. Wow. Alrighty. My first 400 kilowatt charger. Wow. It is a unit. I can tell you that. It was installed last week. Fastnet is testing. And you can even scan this QR code to let them know what you thought. So let's first change the language. And maybe, maybe you have tried an EV box charger in the past. There are many around France especially. This menu will be very familiar to you. Uh, because it is just... The screen used to be very tiny. You know, maybe the corner... Of the of the under part and the thing is that they just blew up the interface so yeah I wonder you know these buttons even though the buttons are pretty big uh, yeah they could still you know look at this screen that this used to be just very tiny and it's it's just the same information but now a uh, very huge so unfortunately the Tesla is only doing a hundred kilowatts Mm, because it has been here already f for 12 minutes and my Tesla is too full so I'm here with the uh, 39% which is actually too much to really put the charger to the test so I might do another round and then hope that I get lucky uh, that there's somebody else when I come back mm. but I could also just try for a second I love how cars just keep coming in. Oh, I guess the Tesla just stopped the charging session. Hello, Fastnet de Watering. I've been preconditioning the Tesla because this is the fastest public charger of Europe. Hello, EV box, 400 kilowatts. Yes, the EV box Tronic modular 400 kilowatts. There's the stats. Pretty new. Let's see, yeah, no card payment yet, but apparently it's coming. So the Bonnet app responded to the charger I just confirmed the plugin in the bonnet app here we go I tried to preheat the battery as far as best as I could but it's still pretty full at 35% You can hear pretty loud machine. Now let's see those amps blasting. It's pretty cold outside, just a couple degrees above zero Celsius. And yeah, fast driving is also not allowed on the highway next door. So I guess this is the max that the Tesla can take right now. Now, of course. I would love for a really fast vehicle to arrive from the highway right now and have them plug in at the same time with me because yeah this way we don't really test the charger to the max unfortunately 
but what is really cool is that if you come in right now and you bring a BMW or a Hyundai Ioniq 5 Kia EV6 and you plug it in then I expect that you can get the full charging rate next to this one which would be really nice to see so I have to come back ASAP of course to test this machine more often right now we know it works pretty noisy in here 50 minutes remaining 139 kilowatts charging speed not bad if you were looking for a silent charger this is probably not the one to get but yes yeah, speed speed cost sound a lot of stats are shown that's nice I wonder if just anybody can stop the charge I will try that soon even though the Tesla is only doing 100 kilowatts right now I asked the Nero to plug in with me so we could test the machine at least a little bit two ways to start RFID or auto charge So this is the Tesla, 90 kilowatts, and there's the Nero, 14 kilowatts. I think even this upper cooling went on right now. I wonder if it's the biggest fast charger I have ever seen. I think so. It is so high and wide. But yeah, 400 kilowatts, it doesn't come for free, of course. So the light around that cable management system shows blue when it's charging. And this cable can go pretty far another light in here and here it shows green for the availability regular phoenix plug nothing fancy What do we see over here? Is this Eichrecht proof? Even though they seem to be powered up. I love how you have to keep changing the language. Ooh, it's getting busy, but everybody's driving to other chargers. Just a Tuesday morning at Fastnet. As you can see, it is full of people just plugging in 
while they're having a coffee or no this vehicle actually needs the charge but as you can see cold gate is very real just 43 kilowatts with the Nero and the Opal is doing 24 typical coffee break so imagine all these fast chargers with all these vehicles that are either cold gating or pretty full even this van is only doing 36 kilowatts uh, even the Tesla right now is doing probably 70 or so no it's only doing 54 kilowatts so as you can see yeah all these charges are really fast and sometimes people will use really fast speeds but most of the time when they're plugging in especially in winter yeah the exact speed that the charger can deliver is not that important all these vehicles can take it now i'm curious i started the session with my bonnet app can i just stop it no so i have to use the app to stop my session okay so i used the bonnet app to stop the charging session Plug. And here are the statistics. See you, Fastnet. Thank you for watching.